we meet today Brian Powell from I Want Far. We will explain why this event will be so historical. Being in Chamonix at the start itself is exciting. There's all of this energy and it's from the runners, it's from the fans, it's from the, the natural surroundings. A lot of people. A lot of people and the, the, the spirit is amazing. Um, what excites me now about the race is just, yeah, again, the men's field is the best trail ultra marathon field in the history of the sport. And to see how that plays out um, is just going to be amazing. Killian has won UTMB a few times. He more or less wins every race he runs, unless he's completely sick like Zagama one year. But um, no one has shown they can outrun Killian. You have the heats first for uh, 100, more than 100 kilometers, and for the last 60 or 70 kilometers, you have the real race. It's not only the best UTMB ever, but it may be the most competitive trail race in the ultra trail in the history of the world. Well, I think every edition of the U UTMB is special. And this year, there seems to be a heavy concentration of really, really top athletes who are... Maybe it's the best uh, edition, no? It's, it's very open. It's a lot of people that can be strong and can be fighting for the victory. There's a lot of former champions that are all going to be um, competing against one another, as well as a lot of other people who would love to uh, be first time champions. It's very historical because it, it's, it's also kind of scary. <laughs> because uh, you know it's, it's going to require, there's going to be a lot of pain and effort in the race and you can't make any, any mistakes or you won't place well because there's so many uh, runners that want to do so well and make the podium or make top 10. We choose to choose our courses and our ultras because it's what it means, for what it represents, for the adventure that it will be, for the challenge that it will be. And not necessarily in terms of the competition, it's what makes it a little bit of Pour moi, la magie de cette discipline et qui les différencie vraiment de toutes les autres disciplines. L'Ultra Trail va passer encore une étape à partir de cette édition 2017, cette UTMB 2017, et, euh, et c'est génial pour notre sport. On n'a jamais vu ça, donc euh, ça va être assez exceptionnel. Vu la start list, je pense que le record il va, il va sauter. From uh, Saint Gervais to Cormayer, you really start to see the leaders go to the front. The people who have a bad day, yes, you see in Cormayer. The people who may have a special day, you see them. To be in the podium, you must be in the top 10 at this position. Ce qu'on contamine, c'est toujours, euh, toujours une grosse excitation. Il y a toujours voilà, les gens qui partent un petit peu vite, donc il y a, il y a gérer cette première partie là. Après, il y, a la, il y a la deuxième partie qui est, en gros, quand on rentre dans le vif du sujet, on rentre dans la nuit, euh, on contamine. Et... Mais c'est vrai que la, la gestion de cette nuit, le fait d'être accompagné, le fait de ne pas courir tout seul, c'est vrai que ça joue, ça joue énormément. Pour moi, le race est commencé entre les cols de et Champel. De la fouillée à la finish, c'est là où il faut rester avoir une force et like to start to push. À partir de Champé, il y, a, il y a cet enchaînement entre Govid, Catogne, la tête au vent. C'est uh, très stratégique et um, c'est là que uh, voilà, il va falloir être très costaud. And the descent down to Trient, and then the climb out of Trient, and the descent to Valarcine, and then the climb out of Valarcine, and then the run to the finish. I really think the the race is going to be won or lost over the final 30 to 40 kilometers. Uh, everything from Trient to Valarcine, up and over. Uh, um, La Flegere and then to the finish. Like I think those final two climbs are really going to separate the, you know, the, the front runners. C'est bien de partir très vite, mais après si c'est pour terminer tout doucement, il n'y a pas forcément trop d'intérêt. Donc je pense que voilà, la gestion est capitale. Et... Après 15 heures de course, on a tous des temps faibles, des temps forts, et puis ça va jouer là-dessus. Et puis c'est lui qui a l'air à dernier le temps faible, et ben, il sera devant quoi. He doesn't feel pressure, he doesn't feel nervous. 
Um, he's not impatient. He can go enjoy the day, and that's a strength. Alien is the king, and he has been uh, for as long as I've been involved in the sport. He's somebody who I think everybody looks up to, myself included. And whenever he is in a race, obviously he's going to be uh, the favorite to win. Difficult to win if if Killian stay in the in in a good performance. He is the most accomplished trail runner in the history of our sport, and it's incredible what he's done. And uh, to, to be able to go out there and run with him. Bah, ça va être un challenge pour lui de, de revenir là s'amuser avec nous et, euh, et voilà donc je pense qu'on va pouvoir partager des bons moments et c'est plus euh, c'est plutôt comme ça que je pense qu'il voit la course et que je la vois aussi. Il y a moyen de courir un peu avec lui, ça peut être cool hein, parce que c'est quand même sympa de pouvoir courir avec lui même fois, échanger un peu avec Yann, c'est super personne mais... Euh... Yann et là ça apporte encore une petite touche d'excitation supplémentaire parce qu'on se dit que, ah ouais là, Kylian hein, il, reste, euh, il reste à référence de l'Ultra Trail donc... Euh... I feel like the rules don't apply for Killian Jornet. <laughs> he he breaks all the rules. <laughs>